Hello. In this video, a man climbs a hill and attempts to document it with substandard video equipment and substandard skill, and some would say judgment. In spite of these glaring shortcomings, I insist on sharing the video and photographs on this channel. If this sounds like a, a waste of your time, you might want to click off now. And I'll wait. All right, and now I'll climb this hill. Where is this hill? It's on Mount Hiba. Hiroshima Prefecture, Japan. Why am I climbing it? Well, I'm climbing it for the second time. Last year I climbed it in a frustrated attempt to reach the vertex of this long forgotten and now unknown solar calendar that we believe or believed at that time to be megalithic. I failed in that attempt due to a chasm, a, a very deep and wide and steep, scarily steep, ravine blocking me. So that's the ravine with the river at the bottom that blocks us from this angle. And then, out of seemingly nowhere, an attack of supreme panic and dread. I'm climbing it again this year out of uh, perhaps perverse curiosity and stubbornness. Uh, a perverse combination of those two and a desire to see and photograph that monstrosity that I saw while making my exit last year. You remember that weird and I'm now calling it monstrous structure that I didn't photograph because I was too scared and I needed to get out, get out, get out of those woods as fast as I could. There was no time to stop. Well, I found it. And you will see it in the next video. It is way weirder than I knew, than I thought. And I'm calling it The Monstrosity. So what is in this video then? Well, the climb to the top, or almost to the top, and the various structures and manipulations of the environment found along the way. Most of these were not here last year. I don't think. I don't think so. I'm better at seeing them now for having studied, and it's not like I'm finished with it, having studied and continuing to study this excellent book. Field Guide to Sasquatch Structures. I recommend it. It will help you when you're in the field. Mount Hiba is famous for having the tomb of the Japanese mother goddess, the Japanese mother goddess Izanami. She of the horrible and disgusting and some might say demonic Japanese creation myth. And Mount Hiba is famous as the home of the Hiba monster. The Hiba gone, which we have confidently and correctly identified and proven in over a hundred videos to be the Japanese Sasquatch or Japanese Bigfoot. The structures and manipulations seen in this video are made by these hebagon, 
these same Hibigon. That is our theory. And Mount Heba is not famous for this totally unknown, undiscovered, colossal solar calendar. Uh, I'll go into it in the next, next video. We already know that it isn't accessible from this approach, so I'll talk about it more in my next approach. Right after we're done with this hill and the hebegon related material. Who am I? Well, my name is Kyle. I'm no one, really. I'm just an old varmint hunter from northern Ontario who now finds himself over here for over half his life hunting larger and more exotic varmints now. Except with a camera, not a, not a firearm. And I'm not even very good with a camera. Also, I am not N-O-T, not a tough guy. I almost soiled my pants on this hill last year. I was nervous coming back. No, I was afraid to come back. I was very afraid. Making, uh, making life for everybody in the car uh, rather unpleasant. Sorry about that, wife and daughters. Um, Daddy was afraid and freaking out. I wasn't even sure that I'd climb the hill. I left the decision until we got here, got out of the car, and sniffed around. Well, the air smelled good, so I went ahead with it. My wife and daughters waited by the car. They watched me go and sent their... This was all very conscious. We, we talked about this and we planned it. They stood by the car, and together they sent their love and encouragement up after me telepathically. That's right. And this was a big help. At least it influenced me and it helped me. So thank you, my family. Now, whether or not it is true that the Hebegon can read men's thoughts and intentions, age-old legend says he can, um, whether or not he can, I went in this year with an improved attitude, from improved from the Hebegon point of view, and just in case the Hebegon couldn't tell that, uh, I made sure to tell him. So, in this video, I will climb the hill almost to the very top. All right, I'll give you one more chance to click off. And a warning, my forehead camera, my forehead mounted camera is tilted up too high. I know that now. Obviously, I didn't know that then. Now, you can get mad at this and get mad at me and get mad at the wrong and bad shape of my head, the incorrect sh shape of my head, but I am taking pictures with the camera the handheld camera, and I stitch them into the video. So you will see what I'm looking at. I give each photo five seconds. And now, here I go. Okay, we're just gonna look up here a little bit. Girls, stay with mommy. Girls, stay with mommy.
peeled and broken, peeled and broken. They are broken apart like this. pushed and wedged. Pushed and wedged. Pushed and wedged. All right, snapped. And this is imported. See that? That's imported. Uh -huh. through here. Uh, right. I see. Laid down here. Laid down here. And propped up here. And going through these two. Peeled. Uh-huh. Now to the Hibagon. Or the Satoru no Satori. Who can read men's minds, I would like them to know. That we come in peace. We are your friends. We're only coming to visit. We just want to look around a bit because we love you. We're not going to hurt anything. We're not going to damage anything. We're not going to kill anything. We're just here because we're interested in you. And we love you. Where did the huge center of this tree go?
See, I believe that the Hebogon too. are friendly. And they don't want to hurt us. And we don't want to hurt them. And we don't want to scare them. And we don't want them to scare us. We want to be friends, and if not friends, we just want to be friendly and come and go. Just come and visit and go. This is Hebegon's house. This is the Satori's house. And we are guests in his house. And we respect the Satori. And we wish him well. We want the Satori to be happy. All right, I hope that didn't waste your time. Please bear in mind I am not a professional. My volunteer co-producing family and I, my wife and my girls, we're doing the very best we can with scarce time and resources and no training and limited mobility. And we are greatly, greatly assisted by your generous help. Thank you. And we are doing our best and we're learning by the seat of our pants. Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much. And now, an editorial announcement. Some people have complained, perhaps rightly, that my videos waste their time. They complain about lost time. I bring this up because it hurts my feelings and demotivates me and it hurts production. I lose confidence and have to second guess and third guess and fourth guess everything and the result is that other people who want to see these videos who really like them lose their time their viewing time and so everyone loses it's lose 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 Now, I will always choose to err on the side of sharing more here, oversharing, and here's why. Number one, some people want to see everything. Good for them. I'm happy to show them everything. Number two, viewing is optional, after all. Viewing is voluntary. Number three, we don't have a paywall or a special members section or a bonus content section. This is the only section, the general section. So everything can only go here. Number four, um, I make a lot of mistakes. And by showing my mistakes, people can help me and correct me. People can spot my mistakes faster than I can and, and help me. So I share my mistakes. Number five, we have experienced hunters and outdoorsmen here who are more experienced than I am. Bird watchers and gardeners and mushroom pickers. And some of these have already given me excellent advice based on things they see. And non-specialists, generalists, um, people who make connections and and just smart people and uh, I'm honored to share things with them number six I I miss things sometimes people see things that I don't see or I can't see or I can't understand so if I rule out photos or footage 
based on my judgment alone, and my judgment is imperfect, we could all miss valuable data. And number seven, people donated to this expedition. They donated money, and they deserve to see all of the results, the failures and the successes. Now, if you don't agree and you can't be patient with me, you must find a, a better channel covering these subjects. And constructive criticism and friendly and helpful and truly kind criticism is always welcome. Just offhand, I can thank David and John Melland and Smorgasbrod and Mary C. and many, many others for their helpful and truly kind suggestions and, yes, critiques. Now, this channel is my home, as it were. It has my name, my face, my family is on it, and as the father of the family, I must protect it. So, from now on, from now on, if you hurt my feelings or insult me, and by extension insult my wife and daughter co-producers, you bring me down, and you bring this channel down. And I should have thicker skin. The Lord knows I should, but I don't. So I will block you from this channel if, in my perception and experience, you are being mean to me. So sorry, but not sorry, not really. I'm a lover, not a fighter. A battering ram, not a gatekeeper. And a ratchet with a cog mechanism, a toothed cog mechanism allowing movement in only one direction, forwards. Not a dial, not a wimpy dial to be manipulated by you, in or out. Or actually, I believe... Uh, you dial things up or down is the true phrase, or uh, possibly forward and back, but not in and out. You don't dial things in and out. That doesn't make sense. All right, to new viewers and old viewers who have never given me anything but love and support, I'm sorry for this one-off, one-time announcement. And I forgive this person this time. And I'm not naming you this time, or showing your comment this time, or replying to it as I was tempted to do. I'm not even deleting it this time, but fair warning to all, and yes, I for my part will try to make my videos better, and I do try, and it helps me when you are courteous and truly kind. And once again, viewing is free to all and voluntary by all. Okay, thank you very much. I love you. And I'll be back very soon, I promise, with that monstrosity on top of the hill.